it's Linda from Lynn's Kinky Creations and today's video is going to be about something different um it's going to be about a topic that I feel like um I kind of want to come on camera and kind of talk about a little bit because I often get um certain questions or certain comments in my comment section of my videos so I kind of want to as they say to speak um address the elephant in the room so <laughs> this video is going to be um like I said, about a few questions, and I have my phone here, so I can kind of just keep track of what I'm um, talking about, what the topics are. So, the topics that I have that I'm going to discuss in this video is how come you don't wear the hair that you're reviewing? Um, how come you don't put the wigs on that you are featuring in your video in your videos? And the other question is like, you know, are your units worth buying? So, um. Oftentimes in my comment section, um, sometimes people comment like they feel like maybe it's better that I review the hair as far as like putting it on, wearing it, and things like that in my videos. Or some people want to know how come I don't wear the wigs that I am selling. Um, and some of them, you know, like they, I feel like sometimes they kind of question the quality of the units that I'm making. So, first off, I am a small business owner. Um, I do make handmade wigs and all of the wigs that I make, um, the hair that I use to make the wigs with, I buy it. It comes out of my own pocket. My videos are not sponsored. No one's sending me hair. Not that I'm, not that this is a cry for, oh, please send me hair and free hair and things like that. But what I'm saying is that all the hair that I purchase, that I do, that I show you guys in my video, I purchase it with my own money. So, to answer the first question, how come I don't wear the hair that I'm reviewing? Well, I make crochet wigs, so when I buy hair, and I come on camera, and I come here to show you guys what the hair is, um, I'm actually coming on camera to show you guys what the hair looks like, um, what certain colors may look like, what the texture feels like, what I think of the hair in general as far as like looking at it. Um, I do make wigs with the hair that I do purchase and I always try to come back if I can and do a crochet wig feature to let you guys know, okay, when I was making this wig, did the hair tangle on me? You know, was it hard to work with? Was it hard to loop the knots and things like that? So, um, I feel like if I'm purchasing the hair my own money and I'm using it to make wigs with, what's the sense of me wearing the hair on my own head? Because that's the supply that I'm buying to make wigs with. If I'm using it on my hair, then I'm not going to have hair to make wigs with. So, for me, I feel like, you know, I try to come on here and just show hair from a person that makes wigs. You know, I have my own business, so, um, you know, that's the first thing for me is, you know, showcasing my wig, showing you guys how the wig turned out, as opposed to just only giving pictures. Like, sometimes people want to see what the hair looks like made into a wig on camera and i do have those subscribers that always comment and send me lovely comments and say how much they like the hair how much they like the videos and things like that so i definitely always appreciate that i always appreciate the subscribers that you know let me know hey lynn i'm happy you, you, you showed this hair i was interested in what it looked like and i wanted to see what it was and i want to you know maybe make a wig with it so i definitely appreciate those subscribers that always send me encouraging comments and things like that now this is not a knock on anybody that wants to know you know how come i don't wear the hair that i'm reviewing i'm just coming on here and just explaining to you all what my reason is personally you know and let's keep it real buying extension hair buying synthetic hair buying human hair that stuff is not cheap so especially if someone is not these companies are not sending you the hair and not sponsoring your videos and things like that and you're buying the hair to make wigs to sell, you know, for your business. Listen, I feel like you can't be coming on camera all the time, you know, wearing a hair because now what you going to use to make your wigs. So that's the first um, kind of like question that I'm going that I'm addressing. Now, the second one is how come you don't put the wigs on that you are featuring in your videos now? The reason why I don't wear the wigs that I'm featuring in my videos, and actually all the wigs that I sell, I don't wear them. Um, for me, it's more of a hygiene, sanitation, you know, 
type of thing. Like, um, I did go to hair school. I am a licensed beautician. And I learned a lot of things in hair school. And I always feel like when it comes to hair and selling wigs and things like that, you always want to make sure your product is clean. You want to make sure it's not being worn by you, especially if you're selling it. Um, you know, for me personally, I don't feel like it's hygienic to wear the wigs that you're selling to people. I'm not knocking people that do it. That's their own thing. You know, I'm not knocking them for that. I'm not coming, you know, on here saying, oh, you can't, you know, wear the wigs that you want to wear. But what I'm saying is that <clears throat> I am a small business owner. I sell wigs. I make wigs. So I want my customers to know that when you buy this wig, it's clean. It hasn't been worn. It hasn't been, you know, showcased somewhere, you know, in a couple of videos or a couple of pictures. No. When I make my wigs, I cut and style them, and I do that on my mannequin head. And I take pictures of it and put that on my Instagram page, on my Facebook page, and on my website. So, I just want people to know that that's my personal reason why I don't come on here wearing wigs. You know, because I want the wigs to be clean. I want them to be sanitary. You know, I don't want people to feel like, okay, I bought a wig from her, and I just saw her in the video a couple of days ago rocking this wig and all kind of stuff. So, that's just my personal reason why I don't wear the wigs that I'm making for you know making to sell for customers so um and the last question is um are your wigs worth buying yes i do feel like my units are worth buying um i put a lot of time dedication and hard work into making the units um i do my best to always strive and buy quality hair um i don't really i don't go for cheap cheap hair like you know for me is um quality i try to stick with um you know, there's a few brands that I like to buy and use when I'm making wigs and things like that. So, um, I definitely try to stick to those brands because I feel like the ones, the, the brands that I'm using, I feel like they have quality hair. So, I want the person that is purchasing the wigs from me to get great longevity out of their units. Um, I want the units to be able to be manageable for them. Um, if they want us to be able to, I want them to be able to actually wash the hair without it tangling and frizzing up and becoming a hot mess so i go out of my way to make sure all of those things are included when i'm making a unit so let's say i'm making a unit and i bought some hair and i feel like this hair is going to tangle and mat i'm not going to use that hair because what that means is that when this person now buys this unit and they take it home and they're wearing it it may tangle and mat up on them and nobody wants to buy a wig just for it to be tangled and matty you know, so those are things that I take, I pay special attention to when I'm making units. Um, like I said, I take my time. I put my best foot forward when I make units. Um, I always strive to have great customer service and things like that. So I feel like those are things that are important, especially if you're a small business owner. Um, you know, I think those are things that are important. You have to have great customer service. I feel like whatever you're doing, you have to make sure that this stuff is quality so that people know. When I shop at LensKinkyCreations.com, I'm getting a quality wig. I'm getting something that's fly. I'm getting something that's going to last me a long time. And, you know, I'm getting different styles, different textures, different colors, things like that. And I've had plenty of customers that come back to me and say, you know what, Lynn? I really love your stuff. Your quality is good. I love your customer service, your personality. You know, I like the ways that you make. You know, I'm not coming on here and bragging, but I'm just telling you this is what customers have told me, have mentioned to me. So, those things, you know, I take into consideration. I definitely appreciate stuff like that. And I want to make sure I keep up with good business, you know, practice, good customer service, quality wigs, and things like that. So, people will continue to want to, you know, purchase my handmade wigs. So... I just wanted to come on here, just kind of like, you know, as they, like I said, as they say, you know, the elephant in the room type of comment. Um, I just wanted to come on here, just kind of like, you know, give you guys a little bit of insight as to how I run my business and, you know, what things I do. Um, maybe from time to time, if I see some, if I see, uh, some hair, depending on what it is, I may, um, do a style with it. You know, I'm not really big on kind of like messing in my hair too much and things like that. So, 
Um, this time so I come on here, you may see me on here with my hair tied up or my, my scarf on, whatever. Um, my hair is usually in some two strand flat twist or something like that. And, you know, just kind of like to keep my hair tucked away, you know, so that I'm not always messing in it and doing stuff in it and things like that. So, um, but let me guys, let guys, let me know what you think of this video. Um, definitely check out my website, lenskinkycreations.com. Right now I have a coupon code. It's, um, BMINE14. And you can save 14% off of any um, wigs on the site, anything you look at a purchase. Um, it's, the coupon could be, could, can be used on anything on the website. So um, this coupon expires on the 18th. So um, definitely, you know, check out my website. And if you want to look into save 14% on, you know, a wig or anything like that, um, definitely make sure you apply that coupon code. Um, definitely sign up for my mailing list. Um, to be informed of when I'm going to have new styles out, um, new videos out, coupon codes, you know, things like that. So, like I said, guys, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all enjoy it and see you all in the next one.